Hello everybody, it's Brandon again, and I got a request here to see if Lutris will download and install on Chrome OS Flex. Uh, I've heard of Lutris before, but I've never actually used it myself, so this will be my first time trying to install it. So if it fails miserably, all will see my failure in real time. So here I went to the Lutris website, <clears throat> and I went to their download section, and we are going to do the steps that it has right here on their site for installing it on Debian. Now, if you're installing Linux stuff on uh, a Chromebook or Chrome OS Flex, you're going to use the Debian instructions. And if you need to enable Linux support first on your Chromebook, um, I have a video on my channel how to do that. Basically, you go to the settings. There should be a developer options section where you can enable Linux. If the developer option is not there on Chrome OS Flex, uh, go to your BIOS and see if um, uh, CPU virtualization is enabled. If it is, and you still don't have the option, right now you're kind of out of luck. So anyway, with Linux running, I'm going to open the terminal, and I'm just going to copy in the steps they have on their website. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go crazy or anything. I'm just going to keep it simple. A lot of times, if you're wanting to learn Linux, copy and pasting is not the way to do it. But um. For the purpose of this example, that's what we're going to do. Because there's a lot to type there. We're going to do an apt update. Oh, I forgot to type sudo apt update. And we're going to do sudo apt install Lutris. And um, for the purpose of just helping everyone out, I will copy and paste myself all these steps into the description of this video but uh, if you're watching this sometime in the future you're probably better off going to their website and um, getting the instructions yourself because things could change so here we are downloading 38 uh, percent so far and so far so on and so forth <clears throat> sorry guys it's early for me here and uh, while we wait for this, I'm sorry uh, I haven't had too many videos over the last couple days. I want, I want to show you, I actually got a new toy. This is an Oculus VR headset. And as a software developer, which is what I do outside of the YouTube stuff, I've been uh, trying to make virtual reality applications for that thing, which has been pretty fun. and there's a lot to learn and so maybe I'll have a video on here about that if anybody's interested in VR stuff because I think it's pretty cool and uh, there's a lot you can do with it but um anyway in that thing you can lose an hour of time like that oh just so you all know I do have my gloves on today somebody commented on one of my other videos that I didn't have my gloves on but uh it gets cold here in my office especially when we have a cold day and my hands get cold while I'm working, so that's what the gloves are for. Fingerless, so I can still type. And I got my coffee, of course. So nobody worry about me. Alright, this is taking a while to install. So, while we wait, you can either fast forward to the end, or you can listen to me blab for a little while longer. Make sure you do like the video. If you're interested in Chrome OS, specifically Chrome OS Flex, which is a version you can install on pretty much any laptop, subscribe to the channel because we talk about it quite a bit. We also talk about different Linux distributions on occasion, so if you have an interest in Linux, check that out. We also talk about some software development. Most of the early videos on my channel are about a um, ray casting engine that I've been writing in JavaScript. And to those who like those videos, I'll put another Raycaster video up at some point. I just had so much going on. That's the thing when you when you're running a software business, like I'm always I feel like I'm always behind on everything. So luckily the YouTube videos don't take a whole lot of time out of my day. And they're fun to make. And through the channel I've learned a ton about Chrome OS Flex just from you guys asking me to try stuff out or from giving me tips yourselves. So here we are waiting. Uh, you know a more competent YouTuber would have stopped it at the beginning 
and then come back later. And uh, but you know, if I have to sit here and watch it, you all can watch it with me, or you all have the fast forward option. So there's that. For those of you wondering who haven't been watching the channel, I'm. This is Chrome OS Flex on a ASUS L210M laptop. A very low powered ASUS laptop. It was 190 some dollars on Amazon. I got it sometime last year. It has a slow Intel Celeron processor and only 4 gigs of RAM. And it came with Windows 10 and got updated to Windows 11. But Windows is so slow on it, barely usable. Well, I mean, it, it was usable, but loading times took forever. It wasn't that fun. I put Chrome OS Flex on it, it runs pretty good. Uh, Linux also runs good on this thing, but for the purposes of the channel, I got Chrome OS Flex on it, and um, I'm happy with it. It's certainly better than Windows. We're getting close, 98 percent. It could be like most software, where the last one percent takes the longest. We'll see. Okay, we've installed Lutris. Here it is, right there, but. Just so you know, any Linux app you install will be in a Linux applications folder. So let's see if it runs. We're thinking about it. Sometimes the first time you open an app, it takes a little longer. Missing Vulkan libraries. Lutris is unable to detect Vulkan support. This will prevent many games and programs from working. To install it, use the following guide. Sure. We'll get that guide. In the meantime, let's see what happens. This is for Ubuntu derivatives, which we're not using. We're using Debian, which Ubuntu would be a Debian derivative. Let's just search for Debian. I didn't see it. I don't know, should we try the Ubuntu instructions and see what it does? I'm really not that familiar with Debian outside of Chrome OS. I usually on my main computer use Fedora. No for Intel. I don't know, my processor might not even support it. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So here's Lutris, and I'm gonna be real. I don't. This is my first time opening Lutris, so I don't know what all. Like, is this working? Is this what it's supposed to look like? Maybe. Does it download games for you, or do I have to install? All right. Well. Well, in the video here, I mean, Lutris installs, it opens. We have that problem about Vulkan drivers. I don't know what else. Uh, if you want me to test out some specific games on here, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments. Anything you want me to try out on here, I will. We'll go through that. So, initially, I'd say installing works. There really weren't any hitches. So, let me know what else you want me to test on this, and I'll surely do that. Because, uh... You've seen the channel. Most of the videos here are stuff that you guys wanted me to try. So here's Lutris. It installs. It runs. If you want me to go further than this, let me know, and I certainly will. So there it is. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.